Hello guys, it's KDK here. Welcome to my video. I'm here with the pure paladin, which I've been already destroyed by on the ladder. I think this is one of the better decks to play right now. So I wanted to give it a try. I saw the deck list and I have to craft some missing cards. Yeah, Kotori Lightblade is yeah, it's a pretty good card. So yeah, I will go for it here to um, we have the full deck list. It works very well, obviously, with the Garden's Grace, right? That's insane. And yeah, you're playing a lot of holy spells as well. So yeah, let me just straight up uh, jump to the games and yeah, see how it performs. It feels very like aggro ish and yeah, very efficient. I think it could be defeating the Warlocks, which uh, is like a big consideration, right? When we think about the fact that we're playing against a lot of warlocks, so yeah, let's pump that. Yeah, so I'm guessing. Uh, I'm guessing a mirror match here. Yeah, the thing is, I don't really think we're keeping Kotori, really, or do we? I don't think so. I think we're fine with just uh, cleaning out the dragon to uh, draw the holy spells. Okay, maybe if we have a uh, protector on one, we don't do that then. Yeah, this is fine curve for us. Need a bit more spice mm. over here. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay, this is cool. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is very good for us. That's, that's nice. The light dim. So he doesn't really want to trade, so I don't really care that much, right? I'm not making this trade first. The thing at this point, we could be coining out the St. June Soldier as well, since we have really nice curve and we're just playing Boogie Down next turn, 100%. If he has the Boogie Down on 3 as well, kind of unfortunate for us, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Wow, he's thinking about here following, okay. Yeah, this is very slow for him, to be honest. I wonder if he's going to trade in. He's not. Uh, I don't think. Oof. Spotlight. Yeah, that would be great to play that, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're really doing that. So, we go this, this. Yeah, we don't really care about this board, right? So, we just go face here. Uh, hopefully, we are keeping the. Yeah, what do we even do next turn? It's like a big question. We'll see, I guess. It would be nice to get the spotlight of the silver wing here. And that kind of sucks. Yeah, well, should be, I should have traded, I guess, when I look at it now. Yeah, why why wouldn't I play, uh, play around Keeper Strength, to be honest? It's kind of silly. Anyway, we have this infused, so... Yeah, we're definitely just playing that. We do the He wants to value trade in the two four, right? Ooh, the Crusader Aura. Well, considering I'm winning on the board, doesn't seem like the best idea, right? What I think, uh. Yeah, so what do we do here? Yeah, we could we, we could do this, right? Makes a lot of sense. Make that trade. Yeah, like the thing is that I kind of want to deal with the 1-1, one -one, but on the other hand, I really want to play double spotlight here, to be honest. It's probably like the biggest swing, right? So yeah, I'm just playing double spotlight and one one guy. And we're not trading. We just go face. Yeah, we already played a bunch of holy spells, so we can go order in the court. Next turn, if we if we feel like it. We have a lot of options to be honest. 
Yeah, I was really afraid of uh, Keeper's Spank that would like white me at this point. Reporting and he plays duty. the Guardian's Grace, you yeah. know. That's fine, uh, it's not that important. Um, what I'm thinking about is that we have a little somehow, so this is plus three. Yeah, I think we play order in the court. Yeah, can we just take this trade, right? Take this one where we trade and just pass, I guess. Yeah, it seems reasonable. Next turn, next turn we are drawing another Garden's Grace, so we shouldn't be too worried about this. Uh, unfortunately for me, they can't clear the whole board, right? So yeah, should be lethal. I think it's lethal, right? Easy and fast game. Um, yeah, of course I could have played around the keep of Frank in this card. Probably something you should keep in mind that this something like that can happen. So yeah, definitely makes sense to play around it. What do we have here? A druid? <laughs> Probably some sort of dragon druid, right? Beware the turning tides. I will bring order. Mm. I'll be honest, I'm kind of tempted to keep these three cards. So I play protector on one, then I can play spotlight, right? Or I could also just um, keep it like this and keep it after turn two, right? Just coin it on turn two. I mean, if he hero powers on turn two, I could just play seal of blood. Let me let me just uh, try to play like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my guess is he's passing turn one, and he should he could have the. A wild growth on turn two. If he doesn't, then we just coin out Seal of Blood. Or we could also just play Hand of the Owl. Yeah, yeah, we see what happens. Yeah, he's thinking hard as well. <laughs> uh, complex and two days. Uh, yeah, now like the question mark is, is he going to attack it if I play Seal of Blood? Or should I just play Hand of a Doll? I, I just want to play Seal of Blood to be honest. I mean, it's still pretty strong. You know? It's like a 4-4 with a Divine Shield on turn 2, so yeah, I'll take that. If he doesn't react to it or... Yeah. If he just hero powers... Wow, he's playing... Vanilla Wild Growth, okay, that's crazy. Yeah, we can play the top deck once, to make him a little mad. Uh, do we want to trade it for a better card? Mm, I don't think so. Seven mana with the memory, that's crazy, dude. Okay. 
I think we just go for hand of a doll on the floor too and we just uh, pump, pump, pump face. Yeah, of course. No reason for me to trade, right? He's going to be playing some crazy stuff next turn. Uh, yeah. So we're just hoping to have lethal in like next turn. <laughs> Best case scenario. Okay, that's pretty strong to be honest, yeah. Okay, 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 that actually... Wow, come on, dude. Oh, bro, that was bad. I think he should have traded this for sure here. And we're doing this for sure. It's crazy value here. Yeah, next turn is probably order on the... Oh <laughs> order in the cart. Uh -huh. Okay, he can put dormant, kind of dominions, it's fine. Seven armor, five armor. Yeah, starts to be a little bit problematic, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, uh, next time you can just play Ascalor, so that's a big thing. Ooh. And that's just lethal, is it? Uh, yeah, that's just lethal. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> yeah, dude, I told you this deck is crazy. It's crazy good. Okay, let me pump one more game here. This is working so well. is power I will bring order okay so what do we keep here oh uh, yeah I think keeping protector on turn one is kind of good rest of the cards I don't think so we are playing against mage so I'm not really sure what his game plan is uh, yeah, now when I'm looking at it, probably playing the 2 1 is better than here. playing the 1 1. Simply because we could uh, draw Spotlight anytime soon. So that makes uh, the protec Protector a better keep. Uh, but yeah, we might be just playing it next turn anyway. Mm hmm, okay, that's cool. I'm actually. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. Yeah, so what do we do here? We kind of want to play Boogie Down on turn 3. I'm actually thinking just making the trade and playing 2 recruit. That makes the most sense to me. Yeah. He's playing the treasures as well. It could be like a Reno mage, right? That's cool, I guess. Um, yeah, now when I look at it, we could just play the spotlight because we can easily trigger the boogie down and yeah, the spotlight is just better in terms of stats. Yeah, so we just do that. Wow. 
okay. He is kind of defending well, you know, when you look at it. We have such an insane start and he... Yeah, I, I literally didn't do a single damage to his face, so that's good. Unfortunate for me drawing one drop to be honest here, but next turn we're definitely playing Art in the court. Okay. Yeah, we just gotta play it right. Yeah. <laughs> We just pump it for sure. Mm, okay, it works, I guess. Yeah, that worked out pretty well for him, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's definitely stalling a lot. It's nice for him. Yeah, I'll just play order and Kurt. You're probably not playing it this turn anyway, right? That's cool, I guess. Oh, uh, it's not a lethal rate. Still a lot of damage though. And next we have the pump. Oh my god, this de deck is crazy, dude. Yeah, we'll just pump it next turn. All this research points to something. Your signature is required. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it could be counter spell. Do I will? Uh, yeah, I have to play around counter spell, right? There's no way. Can he even deal with this? It seems like it's Reno mage anyway. Not like it changes too much. What's this? Freezing enemy. Okay, cool. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, could be ice barrier. Oh, possible lethal here, right? Yeah, possible lethal with. Yeah, we gotta do this if it's a counter spell. Okay, it's not. Uh, game plus one one for each damaged minion, then attack all enemies. <laughs> Cage head, dude. Okay. Uh, there's explosive runes as well, right? Yeah, I wanna do this, right? It's literally just possible lethal so we have to do it okay that's fine it could be objection as well right so ah okay cool Ooh. 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 Uh. you have my sincere gratitude Dude, shut the hell up man oh my god <sighs> yes, I could be losing this game actually, it's crazy. 19 damage, oh my god dude, that's unfortunate for me I guess. game it's it's cool though yeah, yeah this was winnable i didn't really expect the visage it was just like a random uh, random uh, secret generation right anyway so or was it i'm not sure now but if he if he made a choice to get the uh, that secret it was like a good call i guess yeah
Yeah, anyway, this deck slaps, so it's pretty cheap. If you already played Pure Paladin before, it's a pretty good call, so I would recommend to get that deck. It's plenty of fun, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and yeah, peace out.